Hi, I'm Amanda Trout and you're at Myrtle Beach State Park office. I'm just gonna show you what I do in a day. So here we are, let's go into our office. So the Rangers already counted the money from last night from all of our locations. Um, the pier, the Ranger Station, and admissions in here also. So that's what these bags are. And in each of them is their money. Um, I already counted all the money in these bags. And I created the deposit. So I'm going to put this back. This will go back to all the locations. And this goes in the vault. And so they're going to log into everything. There's all my reports. Actually, they're my end of days from all the locations. I just have them all organized already. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and then I just go into the system and I reconcile the money that was just, you know, put in the deposit and everything reconciles good. So I just staple everything together, put it up here in my Wednesday slot because yesterday was Wednesday. And then I move on to my office. Oh, let's see what the day has for me there. So back in here, I have a list in my office. Um, this is Actually, I didn't update this yesterday, but this is usually the list I go by, the things that I need to get done today. The first thing on the list for me is resignation PTFs. Yes. So next, we're gonna go into HR Connect and do these um, resignations. Um, so that usually, I have three of them to do, so that'll probably take me about 30 minutes. If I can do it straight through, a lot of times I get, um, um, interrupted. Mm -hmm. But uh, the next thing on my list is my office schedule. It runs out next Thursday, so I have to get working on that. And I got a lot of input from my folks here in the office in the call center already. So I'm just going to bring that up and make sure that it's a good schedule. And then I'll just print it. I also email it to everybody and I take a picture of it and I also um, text it to everybody so they have it on their phones. And my team is such a huge help with the schedule. Um, generally, uh, Carol in the call center is huge help. So we have a lot of, um, well not a lot, we, we have a couple hosts coming in this summer to help in the office. Um, I was trying to get just one to come in and work four days a week like we could have in the winter, but um, unfortunately she wasn't able to come. So I'm borrowing a host from um, one of the Rangers, which he was so gracious, and she was so gracious to let me She's already trained in my team, you know, so I'm, I'm excited to have her back because she was here last year too. Our host program is so huge here. We, um, we have hosts at the pier, working inside the pier house. We have a host on the pier in the summer um, to help with fishermen. Um, you know, um, we have hosts at the ranger station, um, which are awesome. They're so great with customer service. Na uh, the nature center. So, um, and then of course we have them here and the admissions too. And of course on the campground and in maintenance. So it is a huge thing here. Um, when I talk to Lydia at Huntington Beach, she's like, oh, I have one host. I'm like, I don't know how. I don't know how we do it without them. Mm -hmm. I really don't. 
Um, <clears throat> but it works. It works for us for sure. We are also looking for housekeepers on the park right now. We need two. And uh, so when anybody comes in with an application, um, I check to see if they're interested in housekeeping. If they are, I just um, radio housekeeping and say, hey, come on up here and meet this person because we need them like yesterday. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna review this. Make sure we have all of our shifts covered in the front desk and at the call center. And then I will just make this thing live and uh, post it for all to see. Okay, so I'm looking for a new office host here at the, um, in the for the summer season starting April 15th until October. So this is where we keep all of our host applications. They come to us, uh, paper form, you know, they get dropped off or they get emailed to us and then we just print them and we put them in here. They're organized by um, date, by month rather. And I'm gonna look beginning in January to see if I have any. And actually, I, I had pulled the ones that I already wanted, but this I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, this helps us out a lot. Anyone who needs a host knows they can come in my office and look at this, take these out and put them back whenever they want. Uh, this one's new, so I'm going to review this one. It looks like they're interested in the office and during the time I need them. So we'll review, we'll review this one and the ones I already pulled aside. And then I'll make some phone calls and see if everything matches up. Um, their interest in mine. And if I can meet them, that's great, but a lot of times they're not local. So we have phone interviews. And uh, that seems to go really well for us, actually, phone interviews. So this is my organizer, and I, um, everybody teases me because they say it's my brain, because it really is my brain. If I don't have it written down, forget about it. Um, they love sticky note. I love sticky notes, so when they leave me a note, it's my sticky note. Actually, I hid all my sticky notes because they were such a mess, but here they are in one big pile. That is also part of my list to take care of those. So. All right, we're going to review these applications. Oops, that is a schedule that I don't need anymore. So shred that. And hopefully I'll have good news that I found a host. So we get all the applications in here for the park. Um, they're over there in the applications bin. So um, if I find that somebody is good for a position or if they're interested in a position rather, and I read their application real quick and they're still here, Sometimes I'll just pull them in my office and interview them, especially if we need somebody right away in any of the locations, except for maintenance and housekeeping. Um, I'll usually call them out to the office. But um, thankfully, all the uh, supervisors here trust me on that. And um, it just gets done a lot quicker, too. So this is the last person that was hired. He's working at the pier now. And, uh, well, he will be working at the pier come 23rd. I just wanted to give you guys a little um, in insight on how that goes. First, there, of course, there's an interview, and uh, then there's a background check. Um, and then they come back in and do their new hire paperwork. And this is the glorious new hire paperwork that we have finished. And once we're done with that, I scan each page um, separate, and I name it what the page is and scan it to my email, and then I send it through HR Connect, uh, which is a secure um, third-party program that HR uses. And uh, it's approved by my manager first. Well, first they have to sign paperwork before they approve it in HR Connect, but they approve it on HR Connect. Then it goes directly to HR in Columbia. And um, the process takes like three days, which is really quick compared to what it used to be actually. And uh, we're able to get the people in the park and working um, in three days time. 
So that is um, how we do it here at our park. And uh, it seems to work really well for us. Um, and I love meeting new people. So and, uh, we build really cool teams here. A lot of phone, well, the office gets a lot of phone calls. Every once in a while, um, we'll have um, a school or a teacher give us a call and say, hey, we're bringing our students here to the park. Um, and we have 120 first graders. And um, do you have anything um, that we can do here at the park? Um, we are, we accommodate um, a lot of schools here at Myrtle Beach State Park. Unfortunately, when they call us in March for something in May, we're already booked up. However, um, there's a lot of self-led activities that students can do and the teachers and, and their chaperones can have them do. Um, so we usually um, have them either stop here if they're here early at 9 a.m., which is when most of them show up, and we give them the uh, scavenger hunts. So they love doing those. And um, so we had three schools call, and they kind of organize with me when they're coming, how many buses they have, um, if they're going to come here to the office to pay that day, or if they're going to uh, pay over the phone with a credit card. Most schools still are... Um, using checks. So we'll put something in the system, in the reservation system that they're coming. And uh, that way the rangers aren't surprised when we have three bus loads of kindergartners. So we organize that. We also have um, a lot of people will come in calling for weddings, um, you know, and the weddings here in the summer happen usually in the, after, in the evening, like between five, six, seven o'clock mainly because uh, the beach is kind of empty at that time and um, you know they won't be photobombed. <laughs> um, and um, and that, there's a lot of weddings that happen here and usually keeping it really simple is the best. Okay. So this is our front desk. Uh, this is behind our front desk actually. Um, right now I have a second person mic. And uh, a lot of times I don't, especially in the winter. So I'll be the second person and I'll cover the first person's uh, lunch. And I tend to stay here the remainder of the afternoon because for whatever reason, the afternoons are busy here. So um, one of the big things that we do with the front desk is we sell passports. And um, we sell a lot of them, especially in the beginning of the month. Um, we get anywhere from 130 a day um, for the first couple of days of the month to, you know, on an average about 40. And even just, even though I have two people at the front right now, sometimes it's so busy up front that they kind of come into my office so I can take care of them here too. Um, we also have a call center, which is right next to my office. Um, right now, it, we usually just take Myrtle Beach calls, but right now we're taking calls for all um, central, for all the state parks. So we've noticed that our calls are um, like, we have about 20 calls per hour right now, um, which is a lot of reservations. We have over 300 campsites here. So, um, and they stay rather busy, especially on the weekends. We also get a lot of ultimate outsiders here at Myrtle Beach State Park. Um, a lot of people um, will end their journey here, their 47th park. So we hand out little swag bags. Uh, right now we have water bottles in them. things like this, some hand sanitizer, and they also get their picture taken with a ranger. And we like to use this area. Pretend like I got my ultimate outsider 